Hey folks, this is Gabe at security.org here with another review. Today we're looking at Blue by ADT. Now, you know how things go around here. We're gonna break it all down, give you all the details, and if you'd like to see a full comprehensive written review of Blue by ADT, head on over to security.org. All right, let's dive in. All right, so let's kick off today's look at Blue by ADT by going over what we liked and I mean, what we didn't like so much. Now, beginning with what we liked, because we like to stay positive around here, uh, it is a massive DIY, affordable, comprehensive system, and it's transparent about everything. You know, I know what I'm getting, I know how much it's gonna cost, and I know how to add to it. Uh, that's actually a lot uh, in this particular industry, so I really appreciated that from Blue by ADT. On top of that, the user experience is great. It's actually much improved, I think, from the first iteration of Blue ADT, going through the app, seeing my saved media, uh, setting up each device the way I like it, um, actually seeing the history of each device. Um, really easy experience, intuitive, all of that good stuff. And finally, I had to state that getting all this set up, comprehensive system that it is, was really straightforward. I mean, I think I had it all done in about an hour. Uh, so considering all the different pieces, I really felt like that was a pleasant experience. Now, when it comes to what we didn't like about Blue ADT, it has to be the fact that the monthly costs can begin to add up. You're talking about professional monitoring, you're talking about unlimited cloud storage so you can save all the media on your various cameras and camera-like devices. So that can be a little spendy, but of course, remember that ultimately you can just self-monitor with Blue by ADT. Let's shift to what you actually get with Blue by ADT. Now it is an expansive, comprehensive system. We know that we also know that the pricing is transparent, so you can set it up for exactly what you need. And you can see from our setup, well, we've got pretty much about everything they have to offer. Uh, so let's go ahead and break down what each one of these elements is and what it can do. First, let's look at the smart home hub. So this is a massive improvement on the previous iteration. Uh, it was pretty nondescript. This is actually pretty solid. It has a siren included. Uh, there's a keypad here. You actually have all the modes available to you, the away, the stay, the night, the off. Uh, you can just tap it right here, put in your password monitoring code, really straightforward and simple. Uh, and one other thing is that it has a 24 hour battery backup. You can see that I have it uh, off of the uh, power adapter, still get that light going. It has Wi-Fi. Uh, connection and its cellular backup. So really massive improvement from Blue by ADT on the Smart Home Hub. Next, let's talk about the entry sensors. Now these can go on the doors, windows, really anything that opens and close. Uh, it's pretty straightforward in terms of solid, easy peel and stick, and you can forget about it. Uh, you're only gonna know it's there when you hear that chime go off to let you know when someone has entered or left the building. Next is the motion detector from Blue by ADT. Now this is gonna pick up any motion in your space, really useful to know when something's going on. You can use it to trigger your cameras, but also it is pet friendly. That's a nice bonus. So it's not gonna go off with your furry friend running around the house. Blue by ADT also has a flood sensor and that honestly was a lifesaver for me in the sense that I really had to use that flood sensor uh, while testing out Blue by ADT. My basement did flood and I was alerted to that from the flood monitoring sensor uh, that was really invaluable in terms of what it brought to the table, in terms of alerting me to the fact that, hey, your basement is flooding. You also have the Blue by ADT extender chime. Now this will allow you to, of course, get more functionality from further away from various devices, uh, your Blue by ADT system. It also just serves as a chime so you can hear what's going on. Additionally, Blue by ADT offers us a number of camera options. You have the outdoor camera, you have the indoor camera, and you have the Blue by ADT video doorbell. Now, generally speaking, they offer some similar characteristics. They all give you 1080p high definition video, two-way audio, and the ability to recognize faces. First, taking a look at that indoor camera, it has 1080p high definition video quality, we're talking 130 degree field of view, so it's capturing a lot of what's taking place. And frankly, it looks pretty good. You're talking about a good day vision, admirable night vision. And on top of that, it has a 128 gigabyte local storage capacity for an SD card, along with limited battery backup in case something happens to your electricity. Now diving into the Blue by ADT outdoor camera, it's also bringing the 1080p high definition video, 130 degree field of view, and the day vision looks pretty good. You're gonna be able to see what's going on. Uh, it's nice, it's crisp. You can you know, really get a sight of whatever it is you're trying to behold. But when it comes to night vision, I have to say that it's just more along the lines of, all right, it definitely could have been better in our experience. 
Now, of course, with this outdoor camera, you're getting battery power. So you charge it up once, you don't have to really think about it uh, for a pretty lengthy period of time that's really useful. And you also have that local storage capability. So you have the ability to put in a 128 gigabyte card and you're basically off for however long you need to be off for. Finally, let's talk about the Blue by ADT video doorbell. It's really solid in terms of its 1080p high definition video, 180 degree field of view. So it's really seeing everything taking place on your porch and you don't have to worry about it because it's weather resistant. So once you get it out there, don't have to worry about it again. Now it is hardwired, so you're gonna have to hardwire this in to your home. Uh, but overall, that daytime vision, really solid, really crisp, really clear. Uh, and the nighttime vision is fine, definitely is a little bit to be desired, uh, but you'll definitely be able to see who it is at your house at midnight. All right, so now that we have all these pieces, these components, let's talk about what it's like to actually set it up because installation experiences, especially with comprehensive systems like this can be a little tough, but fortunately I had a pretty pleasant experience with Blue by ADT. Uh, you basically wanna start by making sure you have that mobile application downloaded, have your smart home hub out, and you're gonna start with that smart home hub and it's gonna walk you through the entire installation process. So overall, really straightforward. Uh, take each piece individually, set it up uh, in the mobile app, uh, really easy to do. It even walks you through the physical installation elements with your cameras, with your doorbells, uh, and of course with the entry sensors and motion sensors. So really overall quite pleased with my experience installing Blue by ADT. So let's shift over to what your monitoring options are with Blue by ADT. Of course you have professional monitoring where it's a team of professionals 24 seven watching over your home, giving you that uh, comprehensive look uh, what's taking place and of course you have your ability to self-monitor where you're making sure and keeping tabs on everything taking place inside of your home unpacking professional monitoring is going to be $19.99 a month just right off the bat $19.99 a month uh, now that is going to get you uh, cellular backup it's going to get you that team of professionals uh, keeping tabs on what's going on inside of your home and there is no contract so you can cancel it whenever you like now, when it comes to cloud video storage, you do get 24 hours for free. So if you capture something on one of your cameras, you can watch that for up to the next 24 hours. But if you would like to get 60 days of cloud video storage, it's gonna be $2.99 for an individual camera. Or if you'd like to do your whole fleet of cameras, it's gonna be $12.99. That's 60 days of video cloud storage. Now, when it comes to actually viewing your media storage, your clips, your videos, your shots, uh, all of it's really intuitive inside of the mobile application. They're giving you a number of ways to actually filter and sort what you want to be looking at. And when it comes to actually sharing it, uh, it's really straightforward. You can, you know, view it, download it, uh, send it to whoever needs to see it uh, pretty easily inside of the Blue by ADT mobile application. Now, the final thing I want to talk about with Blue by ADT is the fact that they let you make rules. They let you have an actual if this, then that type of situation. So if I have a motion sensor graph in one room, I can have a camera begin recording what's happening uh, in another. So overall, that if this, then that situation, that ability to really mix things up uh, is really uh, useful in terms of capabilities for a home security system. All right, I've talked to you to death now on Blue by ADT. You've seen it's capable of a lot, uh, but you haven't actually experienced it. So let's go ahead and check out what it's like using Blue by ADT on the day-to-day. -day. So here we are checking out Blue by ADT on my iPhone. Now, you know right off the bat that it says your system is disarmed. I'm in the house, I feel pretty safe. I don't wanna have anything armed, but I can go ahead and do so. If I tap on that button right above it, it says stay away or night. Those are the three arming modes available to me. Uh, so I'm actually here now, so let's just say stay. I'm gonna bypass that one sensor, put in my security code, and now you hear that beep, now it's arming. Now it's 60 seconds to arming, and I don't actually wanna spend the next 60 seconds waiting for it to disarm or to arm. So let's go ahead and tap, turn it off using my security code once again. Now what's great is that, all right, now I've seen how to arm and disarm, but if I wanna see actually what's going on, let's go blue outdoor. So I can go to the live view. Now this is a live shot of what's going on. My little place in Brooklyn. Definitely need to cut the vines. I'm very sorry to my landlord, I'll do that uh, later. And let's just go ahead and jump out of here. Now what's great is that you just seen what's going on outdoors, but what if I wanted to see what's going on, you know, a few days ago. Now I can go jump into uh, my view saved media and I can just go check out, uh, you know, stuff that was going on yesterday. Uh, I got some pretty cool videos out here like, um, Oh, well, this is not the video with my dog, but you get the picture. Uh, you can go back to uh, previous times, previous days, uh, and see what's happening. 
Now, if I wanted to go back, I can note that, hey, it's not just my media that I saved. I actually can go ahead and check out the history of all of my devices. So I can see uh, when motion was detected, uh, when I had uh, one doorbell go off or, uh, or, or a camera or an outdoor camera, uh, you have the ability to really go back and see what's taking place inside of your home, which is really useful. Now beyond here, if I wanted to actually go into each individual device, I can go to the, the settings in the upper left hand corner and you note that I can go directly into devices and I can check out uh, what's going on with my blue indoor, my blue outdoor, and I can actually set these in the way I'd like them to be set. So what works for me in terms of, you know, looking at facial recognition being a possibility, uh, motion settings in terms of, whoa, do I want just any motion to, you know, make it go off or do I want it to be people? So I have it set on people because anything else I'm not too uh, worried about. And I can actually go into uh, motion zones. So right now I've set it up for my inside of my home. It's only going to capture this one specific section because I don't want it to actually capture everything taking place. I need to know if someone comes through that front door, uh, which is really useful. And I can actually decide on motion sensitivity. So do I want it to be, uh, you know, less sensitive, more sensitive, uh, very useful in this sense. Now I can go out of here and note that, Hey, what kind of notifications do I want? Um, do I want to get them, um, when it's just in an arm state, I want to get them uh, to also be recorded. Uh, you have that ability to set up for yourself. Now, if you jump out of there, you'll know you have different audio settings that you can put forth in terms of, do I want to record live audio? Do I want to record motion audio? Uh, remember, every state is different in terms of if you're allowed to actually record people without them knowing it. So always keep that in mind. But once again, really useful. And that flexibility extends to beyond the cameras. I can go into each individual device and, you know, decide, oh, where do I want this to be placed in terms of the sensor, so door, window, uh, alarm type. Uh, do I want there to be an entry delay of 30 seconds, 45 seconds, 60 seconds? Uh, really useful uh, elements there, even all the way up to, you know, full four minutes. Now, when it comes to the actual device itself, that smart home hub, which I've named Eiffel 65 because, you know, blue. You'll note that we have uh, the ability to just go and check out our cellular Wi-Fi settings. Once again, uh, do a lot when it comes to our audio settings. So I can decide uh, where do I want tones, where do I want chimes, and where do I don't want to hear anything at all. And the final two things I wanted to talk about are alerts and rules. Now, when it comes to alerts, this is essentially when do you want to be alerted to something going on? Uh, any type of trouble, any type of arming or disarming event, all alarms in general, or do I uh, want to turn some of those off? And then when it comes to rules, this is very fun. This is that if this, then that scenario. So here you have the ability to say, okay, whenever my blue outdoor camera uh, detects motion, I actually want it to begin uh, recording a clip. Or whenever my blue indoor detects motion, I want it to take a picture. And you can do any number of devices and configure them in a way that works for you uh, using rules and blue by ADT. Now I want to give you my final thoughts on Blue by ADT, and frankly, their revamp is solid. Uh, it is an increasingly crowded, difficult market, the DIY home security space, and they've done a great job. They've made the smart home hub significantly better than the base station that they had before. Uh, all of the cameras work really well. Now, aesthetically speaking, it's not my favorite set of devices, but in terms of how well they work, I mean, that really is at the top level. I, each component alerted me to what was going on in my house in the moment I needed to know it, uh, especially that flood sensor. Now, is there, you know, an element with the professional monitoring pricing that I wish was a little bit more affordable? Sure. But if you're looking for a transparently priced, extensive, expansive DIY home security system, Blue Bay ADT might be the direction you want to go in. All right, thank you so much. You made it to the end of our long look at Blue by ADT. Now, if you appreciate today's video, give us a like, maybe drop us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And maybe subscribe to our channel, security.org, where we're bringing you the newest, the realest, the funnest in home and digital security each week. Now, if you'd like to see any of the relevant links that we talked about today, you can find them in the description below, along with, of course, our comprehensive written review. Uh, and once again, my name is Gabe. This is security.org. Be secure.